Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I'm sitting down with Eric, who just finished playing The Last of Us demo, and he's going to give us some of his impressions. So what did you think of the demo so far, Eric? Well, uh, I played it, so I played it twice. The first time I was more uh, more into it than the second time, because I think what the second time I knew what I was doing and was much, much shorter. So I the first time I explored a lot and I ended up playing for like a half an hour, maybe a little bit more. I just died a couple times, okay. which you'll see later. Um, but yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was fun. Um, you see some kind of the interaction between the characters and a little bit of the story, but, uh, I think I would have liked a demo that showed more of the interaction between Joel and Ellie and a little bit more of the story than, uh, than what this showed. Yeah, I was a little surprised that you didn't see any of that to see kind of like what that relationship is going to be like in the game. Um, I guess this is a part from early in the game uh, where you're doing a lot of exploration and things like that. This part? Yeah. Well, I mean like the, the demo in general. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. It's, it's probably early on because at some point you do get separated from Tess, who is the other girl that's in, in the demo. Mm-hmm. So what happened here? They bombed the hell out of the surrounding areas to the quarantine zones, hoping to kill as much of the infected as possible. It worked. For a little while. <laughs> and if you just hear that, they talk about what happened to the city where they just kind of bombed it. Yeah, to contain the infection, I guess. Did they ever say what city they're supposed to be in, or...? Uh, no. I think, I know the other demo that they showed uh, in the UK was they were in Pittsburgh, so it's probably the East Coast. Okay. So I guess um, it's a pretty traditional, at least from this demo, what we see, it's a pretty traditional survival horror game. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a game. traditional survival horror game in, um, in a sense where it's like really dark. <laughs> yeah. So, in that one scene where I crouched through that area, you don't even, like, I didn't show where, like, I was just looking around, and I didn't even know where I was going. It was so dark, I couldn't see. Over here. And I couldn't figure out how to turn on my flashlight. Hey, Tess. And then this scene too, you can see, you can only see the desk. And like, you don't even yeah. see the character, you don't see anything else. Um, and I know there's a part later in the game, or in the demo, where you were fighting some of the monsters and it was like, you couldn't see anything at all. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of like, I kind of saw somebody and I swung. <laughs> um... But here you'll see you walk up to the the body, and it's one of these scenes where you go up to it and you hit the button, and it'll create kind of this like unique conversation between the characters. And that's something mm -hmm. that they've showed a lot in other demos. But here you just get that little splice of it. Uh, but anyways, going back to, sur to the survival horror aspect, you can see here you pick up a weapon, but it's only a few bullets. And later on, too, I'll be going around scavenging, looking for more ammo and items to use to upgrade and create other things like shivs and medic uh, kits and things like that. Um, and it seems very much like you have to explore, otherwise you're going to be at a disadvantage later in the game in terms of supplies and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. So the second time I went through, I, I didn't do as much exploring because I just kind of wanted to run through through and see how much ammo it would take to kill the enemies and uh and yeah it was like i lo i ran out of shivs and shivs will will like save you from the the clickers the one mm -hmm. they like the one that we just saw and it'll also unlock doors to get into like secret areas where you can get more stuff so i ran out of those and then so when i would get caught by a one of those enemies, I couldn't save myself from it. Watch your head. Because I guess those, it's not just ammo that's scarce. The other weapons also 
degrade or, or have limited use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, like we just saw, I was picking up items, um, and I think I pick up an item here too. It's like a like a scissors, and that's what's also used to make a ship. You really have to go and look around corners and look for more things, uh, go to more rooms, because otherwise you'll kind of be screwed. So from what I from what I can tell, for what you can tell in the de demo. Does it seem like you have like a limited inventory that you're gonna have to manage, or is it more a matter of um, using the items you have wisely rather than just having limited space? It doesn't seem like uh, I have that much limited space because I was able to carry more than one weapon uh, at a time, and it's just kind of whatever he can fit in his backpack. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not actually sure how much they're gonna allow you to carry, but it seems like you can carry an unlimited amount of the, the like cogs that um, you use to create other things. Mm -hmm. Search for supplies. Then here, this is how you have to heal, and a lot of this is like real time. So when you're crafting things and when you're healing yourself, people if can a attack you. Or something, you can yeah. Be screwed. yeah. Yeah. So the same thing with like switching oh, weapons. Like, you can't just switch weapons it's on the not, fly. Yeah, it's not pausing or anything like yeah. that when you do that. So you have to be constantly aware of your environment. In other yeah. Words. There I had to shake the, <laughs> I had to shake the controller, to uh, get the battery back for the flashlight, which is kind of weird. So the flashlight has a kinetic battery, from what we can tell. It's not like you have to like find batteries. Yeah. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> and so, the, so you see, I use this ship to kind of open this door, and in there, like I find more ammo, and like. Mm -hmm. Uh, upgrade stuff and cogs and things like that. Um, so it's kind of like Dead Space in that way, where like so you can you can make new items as long as you have all the components. Yeah. It's not like um, you know some of the other games where you have to find like a workbench or something, right? Yeah, in order to actually do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just make it if you have the items. <laughs> and here's the classic see, see, Uncharted Naughty Dog scene. <laughs> I love how the little clickers sound like the spitters in Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was funny when you brought that up. I was like, yes, that's exactly what they sound like. I mean, they sound like, you know, everything about them, they sound just like them. I keep expecting, you know, the big fat guy to show up with the little can of Barbasol. <laughs> they kind of look like them, too. The little head like, split. Yeah, like crab people or something. <laughs> And here, I think we'll get a pretty good shot of it here. There's a little cutscene with him. Shit, go, go, go. And these guys are basically blind, but they have like echolocution or something like that. Yes. So you have to be really quiet when you're around them. Yes. <laughs> and here I actually try to throw a brick at it to stun it, and then run up to it to to kill it. And it eats you. Yeah, I didn't teach you good job. <laughs> See right there, I could have shipped him to save me. <laughs> well, I didn't do that. <laughs> The environment here is like in this demo is just really awesome, and it looks really great outside of I think some of the plants look kind of weird, but the environment as a whole looks awesome. Yeah, I like the way it's you know 
it's populated by stuff. You know, it's not just an empty office and you know, obviously it's part of the game to collect stuff, yeah. but there's stuff to interact with because yes. I always hate it when you have these, you know, great environments and you can't actually do anything. That was one of the things I disliked about the original Bioshock. And you know, it's an old it's an older game, but you know, you'd have these great environments, but you couldn't like actually do anything in them. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. And at least you can explore in this one. I think that's the point too. So that's good. Um, yeah, I think here is where I go to create stuff. So he goes into his bag and you just kind of click on it and you create more stuff. Yeah, and I guess theoretically if there had been some monster there, it could have gotten Yes, you. yeah, so I was just waiting Again, to a good time. Pause. See? Yeah, I think it's, it's really disappointing that you don't really see how Joel interacts. You know, th this is is not to that part of the game yet, I guess. Yeah, and you see some of the, you hear some of the commentary and all that stuff, and that's really cool. But, but yeah, you don't see the interaction that you would hope to see in the in the you know final version of the game. Yeah. And here it is. You can see how dark it is. <laughs> yeah. So if you look like right underneath the the item, it has those little like dashes. I guess yeah. that tells you how many times you can use it before yeah. it dies. And so as you use it, it'll degrade. And well, I guess this is a demo, so it's hard to say if there's any way to like repair items. I don't, I don't think so. Just... I think it's just you use it until you can't anymore. Check it out. Stay with the girl. The sound of these guys, pretty awesome. Just the overall environment with the sound and the setting and everything. It's really good. So here, actually, there's this part behind me that I could have gone through, but I decided to go just straight. But you could go around. So there's different paths through some of the yeah. levels. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is the guy that, when you killed him the first time, I was like, what the hell, who is this guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I realized, I guess, he was infected by his face. Yeah. <laughs> you can see I, I picked up the pipe, and it has more dashes on there, so you can use it for a lot longer than the than the 2x4 that I had before. And this part, you die a couple times, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Here I was just trying to figure out, I at first wanted to go at it with the guns, and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll sneak around. And I don't have my flashlight on, okay. and all of a sudden I see this guy just come at me. Yeah, and this is the part where it's like super dark and you're just trying to randomly yeah. kill things in the dark. Yeah, I would be screaming really my ass off if I were <laughs> playing this game and just like trying to randomly whack people. This part is cool. Oh, that's really gross, but it's really awesome, too. Yeah, I was actually thinking, because, I mean, the game isn't super violent, but it, it's relatively gruesome in some of these yeah. kills. So right there, if you get hit a lot, you just kind of turtle, and you have to sprint to get out of it, which is kind of cool. And I guess your health doesn't regen, or... No, no, it doesn't, which you'll see after this fight, because I did a really bad job with it. But I kind of just bait him around the corner... Just swing until I kill them all. Oh, and I see the the little um, icon for your weapons kind of glowing red, and then yeah. I guess it finally died. Yeah. So yeah, so that's uh, the end of the demo. Um, I liked it a lot. I thought it really controlled well. All the the fighting scenes um, were smooth. I think it maybe controlled a little bit better than Uncharted because. Um, it's not contingent on the shooting mechanics being smooth, although that worked, seemed to work okay. Uh, I'm not sure how much you're going to be shooting in the game since it takes quite a few bullets to take anyone down. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I think it shows you just bits and pieces of what you can expect from the game. Although it was a little disappointing that we didn't get to see more of the interaction between the characters. Alright, well, uh, thanks for joining us and 
make sure to stop by Vivid Gamer for more coverage of The Last of Us and other games. We'll see you next time.